Bluetooth is about to get its biggest update in years. Bluetooth is about to get its huge LE audio upgrade. After several years of work, the Bluetooth Special Interest Group says it's finalized Bluetooth LE audio. This is a major upgrade for Bluetooth audio that adds a slew of new features, including a simple solution to whole home audio. The new Bluetooth LE Audio standard includes dozens of specifications, most notably the new LC3 codec, which should supplant SPC. This codec increases audio quality across the board, even at the low bit rates used to conserve battery life in hearing aids, headsets, and other products. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like share, subscribe, and get involved. But the new AuraCast system may be the most exciting part of Bluetooth LE audio. AuraCast lets you broadcast Bluetooth to multiple audio devices simultaneously, allowing you to pair several headsets with a TV, for example, or turning generic Bluetooth speakers into a whole home audio system. Searching for AuraCast broadcast should be easy, but Bluetooth SIG says it's like searching for Wi-Fi networks. You can place passcodes on these broadcasts or even share them with a QR code. AuraCast should also grant some behind-the-scenes improvements to Bluetooth, like reduced latency when using Google Assistant with earbuds. Everyone will enjoy Bluetooth LE Audio's unique features, but those who are hard of hearing may see the most tangible benefit. Both LC3 Kodak and AuraCast broadcasts present a unique opportunity to improve the quality, battery life, and price of hearing aids. It should also let users pair hearing aids with multiple devices simultaneously like a game console for game audio and smartphone for podcasts or YouTube videos. Currently, there's just one problem with this upgrade. You probably won't experience Bluetooth LE audio until you buy a new device. A handful of smartphones, TVs, and audio receivers may gain Bluetooth LE audio through a software update, but most products that consumers use today will never support Bluetooth LE Audio. Between Bluetooth LE Audio and Qualcomm's recently announced AptX lossless standard, Bluetooth Audio looks set to take a big step forward in the months ahead. But what's currently unclear is whether we'll need to buy entirely new devices to enjoy the benefits. The Bluetooth SIG website notes that it may be possible for some existing devices to be updated to support Bluetooth LE Audio, and early support for the standard is already available in Android 13 beta. But I suspect that most people won't benefit until they buy upgraded hardware. Stay safe, stay secure, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.